Voicemail. And leave a message. No point. I've already left him half a dozen. Ronnie's obviously not interested. Excuse me. Has there been any news? Uh, the CT scan confirms what we already suspected. Uh, your father suffered a ruptured aneurysm. What happens now? We keep him sedated until he stabilises. Uh, then we operate. Look, why don't you go home and get some rest? We'll contact you if anything changes. Thank you. Where's Mum? She should be here. And she will be. She just needs time to get her head around everything. <laughs> Do as the doctor says and go home. There's no point in all of us being here, and, and maybe you can come back with your mum later. Make some tea. Yeah, sure. You're not going to ask our granddad is? Well, I'm assuming he's still alive, or I'd have heard something. <laughs> not that you care, anyway. Do you blame me after his behaviour? And as for you, how could you keep something like that from me? Why well, I didn't think I needed to tell you. Are you being serious? What? Tim waltzing into home farm could have complicated things, and I was right. What are you talking about? Well, we're rich. He isn't. Oh, I wonder what you could have wanted. All he wanted was to be part of my life. Oh, did he? It shows how much you know, doesn't it? Well, tell me then. He tried to kill Grandad. You're making that up. You remember the shoot we had last month? Where the gun went missing? Yeah, what about it? Well, Tim marched Grandad into the garage, knocked him over the head with it, dragged him into a car and turned the ignition on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly? That doesn't condone your behaviour. Well, I just wanted him to leave us alone. So you abducted Tim, bundled him into the boot of a car, bound and gagged, and then kept him hostage in a barn all night long? How could you do something like that? Well, I can explain. What is wrong with this family? I just wanted to protect my No, mom. shut up. I don't want to hear it. Oh, just leave her. Nothing you can say will put this right. I'm gonna go. Wait, you haven't even finished your drink. Can I have a G and T, please, and uh, make it a large one? Well, you want a valley with that, do you? Take a hike, charity. I was hoping I might bump into you. I didn't think I should go up to Home Farm again. Don't run away, please. Look, I know I've handled this badly. You think? I mean, trying to gas my father was a particularly low point. And so was Lawrence turning up to my flat with his heavy. He beat me up so badly, I was in pain for weeks. Didn't tell you that, did he? But I went too far, I know. I was in a bad place. I don't even recognise myself in that moment. But I swear to you, I had no intention of killing him. I may have made a mistake, but I'm not a murderer. Five minutes, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> 